Welcome back here for another evening of North Carolina State Baseball. This one has a little different feel to it as we are playing here at Duke at Jake Combs Field. NC State comes into this one sitting 15 at 1, sitting third in the nation, followed by Duke with a 2 and 1 record. Starting lineup for the Wolfpack today. Jake Montgomery set to start things off playing center field, followed by Garrett Langdon at second, with Reed Richards not behind the plate tonight, but acting as DH. Nolan Lawrence in the four hole playing left, with Alex Alec Creech in right. John Constantino is behind the plate, followed by Al Morris at first. Coming in the eight hole is Clay Lawrence at third, alongside Michael Weaver at short. On the mound tonight is the 1-0 Ryan Sproul, who currently sits with 14.2 innings pitched, 19 strikeouts, and sits with a 2.39 ERA. Both sides are all warmed up. Doing the home plate meeting, and on the other side of this break will be first pitch.
Coming here into the top of the first, Wolfpack set to start things off here in this one. Wolfpack tonight in black and white. The Duke Blue Devils are in their natural blue home colors. On the mound today is number 11, Mark McDonough. Working from the right side against the right-handed Jake Montgomery. First pitch is fly down the first base side. Gets out of play. As Montgomery gets behind 0-1. Second offering is going to miss just outside. Move the count to 1-1. Working at a slow pace is McDonough. A lot slower of a pace than what the Wolfpack is used to as that is swung on a missed outside. Montgomery falls behind again, one and two. Man waiting on deck is second baseman Garrett Langdon. And so swing and a miss from Montgomery, but a drop third and the tag will be made at first as the first out is surrendered. Garrett Langdon, the usual leadoff hitter, flip-flop with Jake Montgomery. We'll be batting the two spot tonight. Langdon comes in batting a 351, 12 singles, one double so far. Langdon has been a steady bat this season for the Wolfpack. Looking to continue that trend here today as he sees the first pitch just outside to make it 1-0. As for Langdon, he has had eight walks and five strikeouts thus far through 13 games played. Tied for the team on the most games played. And this one will miss outside as well. The count will move to 2-0. Oh. As for the Wolfpack, not a single player has played in the full 15 games played. Most highest is tied at 13. One of those being Garrett Langdon as that is up and out for a 3-0 and oh count. McDonough is a junior from Glenside, Pennsylvania, listed as, an e as a utility pitcher as that gets away, ball four. That will bring up the designated hitter, Reed Richards, as a man on with one out as Richards strides up to the plate. Richards sits in with a 526 batting average. 20 hits and 38 at bats. Speedster over in first. Going. Pitch misses. Catches the outside corner. And Langdon is in there. He is not. Good throw by Colin Thomas. By Thomas delivered that one right on the money there to catch Langdon. Looked like Langdon had the inside corner as that throw was just a bit upstairs. Second baseman able to apply that in plenty of time for out number one. Out two, that is, excuse me. Pitch thrown. That one will miss upstairs and out to make the count one and one. He called that first pitch a strike. That one will also miss up and out as the count will move to two and one. Richards now at the plate, no man on, two outs. And once again, he'll miss outside to move the count to three and one. And once again, that one will miss as Richards will take first with two outs for Nolan Lawrence. McDonough has recorded two outs with two walks and only three batters faced with some help from his catcher, Colin Thomas. As for Nolan Lawrence, he comes in betting a 4-12, seven hits and 17 at-bats. First pitch catches the outside corner. Lawrence falls behind 0-1. McDonough has liked the work the outside half of the plate here early in the first. He missed a few times, but it's paid off enough to get him this far. Richards leads at first. Swung on and missed. Even 0-2 the count. 
Lawrence trying to extend the inning. Creech waits on deck. Flied straight back, staying alive. Still looking to fight here with an 0-2 count. Runner on first, Reed Richards. That one misses upstairs. The count will move to one and two. Richards, Richards with a big lead over at first. And Up and in. Two and two off-speed selection, but it will miss to make it two and two. McDonough closing in on 20 pitches here in the first. So far, still has not given up a base runner past first. One being caught, stealing at second. The other one on a walk, and that's Richards currently on first. Fires and deals. Outside full count. First full count of the evening comes up with a runner on first. Two outs here in the top of the first. Runner takes off. Half checked swing, but goes around. And that will do it here for the top of the first. The Blue, Devil, Blue Devils able to get out of the jam there after allowing two walks. But no damage done as the Wolfpack couldn't even get a runner into scoring position. We'll now see Ryan Sproul take the mound here for the Wolfpack in the bottom of the first. Coming back here into the home half of the first, let's take it around the diamond. Starting starting in the outfield, in left, Nolan Lawrence, Jake Montgomery in center, and in right is Alec Creech. Moving around the infield, starting at third, Clay Lawrence. Over at short, Michael Weaver. At second, like normal, Garrett Langdon. Then over at first, the newcomer, Al Morris. At the battery. On the mound today is Ryan Sproul, once again 1-0 through 14.2 innings pitched. Behind the plate is John Constantino. Winding warm-up pitches coming down, and we will get set to get this thing underway. Start, set to start things off. For the Duke Blue Devils is number 20. Unfortunately, we do not have a 20 listed on the roster. Sproul's first pitch will catch the outside as the count will move to 0-1 to start off the bottom half of the inning. And this Line one is shot into right. Creech is under it, and the Wolfpack will record the first out. A loud first out for the Blue Devils, but no damage is done. This one will miss up and in to make the count 1-0. This one's fouled right back to move the count to one and one. Apologies about the camera. We should be all good for the rest of this game. Right. 
Sproul hits the plate to make it one and two. Gets ahead quick and early. Through four pitches, three strikes, one ball. Sproul steps off back of the mound, resets. Coming back here with a one two count. Fires and deals, fouled off first base side. Time to reset here with a 1-2 count. The 1-2 offering, grounded third base side. Chop just fell past the glove of Clay Lawrence over at third. Once again, time to reset the count. We have it 1-2. and two. Even though it's just a day later, it's much warmer here tonight. This is our first game, one of the lights here that we broadcasted for the Wolfpack. Swung and missed, down in the dirt, gets away from Constantino, flips over the first, has plenty of time, and that will, re will retire for out number two. And that will bring up no men on, two outs for the Duke Blue Devils. And this will bring up number 36. Right down the heart of the plate, 0 and 1 for Sproul. Sproul working quick, throwing with command. Catches the outside corner, 0 and 2. Sproul's fastball has been in direct command tonight here in this first inning of work. That one will be hit into center field, but Montgomery is under it, and the Wolfpack will record the Blue Devils three up, three down as we head into the second inning. Coming back here into the top of the second, set to start things off, Alec Creech. First pitch misses outside, ball one. Creech, usually playing in the left field spot, has moved over to right here tonight. As this one is taken for a strike, evens the count at one and one. Creech comes in tonight just batting underneath 300 at a 292. Swung on and missed on a pitch outside. One and two. As for Creech, he comes in tonight with seven strikeouts. 
as that one just misses downstairs, two and two. Creech trying to work back in this, sits even at two. Delivery line, first base side, gets past the first baseman off his glove. And that was a shot there by Creech down the line. I'm giving him a single on that one. Yeah. Wolfpack with no outs have a man on first. That will bring up John Constantino. Catching tonight with the DH spot going to Reed Richards. Constantino comes in tonight also betting a 292 as well. First pitch of this righty catches the top half of the zone 0 and 1. Comes set from the stretch. Checks on his runner on first. Going nowhere as that is outside. One and one. Blue Devil staff have really favored the outside half of the plate here early as they're challenging the Wolfpack to go chase after the ball. One and Constantino will ground this one over to shortstop. Creech is going to beat it there, and Constantino is thrown out at first on a close play. So now that will bring Al Morris up to the plate with a runner in scoring position and one down. First runner in scoring position here for the pack, trying to push at least one across here in the second. Fires and deals. Fouled off the catcher's mask. Morse trails in the count 0 and 1. Gets a sign from his catcher, Colin Thomas. Fires and deals. Just misses the inside corner. 1 and 1. Come sit. Nobody holding on the runner at second. Not going as that's fired. Fouled off the third base side. Count will move to one and two now. Creech likes to run. Surprised to see nobody holding him on over there at second base. Indeed so. Shortstop slightly holds. Bounces right off. The one two offering. That one will miss outside to even the count at two and two. Man waiting on deck is Clay Lawrence. That one will hit the zone as Morris will go down looking to record the second out. And that will bring up Clay Lawrence. Clay Lawrence batting in the eight hole tonight. We'll have a big opportunity as the Wolfpack have two down with a runner in scoring position. Lawrence sits at a 167 batting average, although sitting at a 360 on base percentage. As that's flied, will that stay in play down the first base side behind the catcher? It will stay in play, but it will drop right against the fence as Thomas could not make that catch cleanly. That one about nipped the net up there as that was a tough ball for the catcher to make. Lawrence will move behind 0-1 in the count. Second baseman holds Creech on. Lawrence comes in tonight with three RBIs, has a chance to knock in one here. Flied straight back, 0-2 the count. Trying to keep this one alive to avoid the back-to-back -back strikeouts. Pitcher steps up on the rubber, gets a sign from Colin Thomas. Big lead over at second, not going. Chop third base side, goes almost in the Duke's dugout. But Clay Lawrence stays alive. Count is still 0-2. 
And the Blue Devils, yet they haven't let any runs. Have They've used a lot of pitches here early in this ballgame. Absolutely. So far in this one, he is up to 33. And that one's going to get away from Thomas, and Creech will move over to third here with two down. 90 feet away from scoring the first Wolfpack run. And once that first one comes across, the floodgates are more than likely to open. It's happened just about every home game we've had this season. The Wolfpack are known for a two-out rally. Not just that. Even though we're here at Duke, it's almost closer to the state than the field we play at. <laughs> As that's fouled down the first base side, count remains one and two. Duke's field is about 30 minutes away from NC State's campus, while the field we play at in Cary is right at 25. And the one two off line to left field. Left. But the Blue Devils are able to get under it, and the Wolfpack will strand a runner 90 feet away as it will stay 0 0, go into the bottom of the second. And we are back here in the second inning of work as Sproul is still set to take the bump. Currently still tied in a stalemate at zero. That's fell straight back, 0-1. Oh the, Wolf, the Wolfpack coming off a sweep from Miami of Ohio this past weekend. They've been on a hot streak now as they've won multiple series here in a row. Looking to take this one game from the Blue Devils. And that one hit to Weaver at shortstop. He will throw it across the diamond to Morris as they will record the first out. NC State's win streak currently sits at 12. After that fourth game loss to James Madison. The Dukes came out swinging early in that one. But the Wolfpack were able to get their number back in a walk-off the next game. As for the Peck, their first three games were blowouts, as that is fouled off the third base side. Sproul finds himself ahead 0-1. Started off the season 14-0, 12-0, and 9-0 against Campbell, followed by an 11-2 loss to James Madison. The 0-1 chopped third base once again. Right about the same spot, 0-2. Sproul working ahead, and that one will be fouled off once again as the Blue Devils keep fighting here with one down and two strikes on the batter. That one is hit into play to Langdon at second. He will make the play over to Morris, and there are two down as the Wolfpack dugout is getting real loud early in this one. Mm -hmm. 
One thing here about Duke compared to the school, the cr field at Cary Christian, it's all turf here. No dirt. First no offer. Dirt, and this ball will roll. We see a lot at Cary Christian's the thick grass of the infield will slow the ball down a lot. Have to make a quick transition. As that one swung over on top, evens the count one and one. I will say this few this field is beautiful here tonight to play on under the lights. A little warmer than it was yesterday. As that's fouled off the third base side, Sproul finds himself ahead of one and two. Coming to us from the left side, trailing one and two. Pitch misses outside, evens it up to a piece. Sproul looking to get out of this inning with no damage done. He's one pitch away from doing so. Fouled off. Count remains two and two. That was not a pitch that he could have laid off on. Though it looked to be about a ball outside, it could have been called either way. Regardless here, it's two and two against Sproul. The offering, that's down in the dirt, and we will be worked full here with two outs. Max Brown, the senior, is at the dish. That's fly to left side, stays up, but it will get down in fell territory as the count will remain full here in this one. Brown stayed fighting in this at bat, not going down without one. And once again, the 3 2 pitch. Sproul kicks and deals. And that one will miss. Ball four, take your base. As with two outs, the Blue Devils have some life. This will bring up number 28 for the Blue Devils. Runner on first, two outs here in this one. Sproul deals. Up and in, ball one. Sproul working from the stretch here. The 1 0 offering. That one will be fouled behind us here to make the count 1 and 1. Coming into tonight, though Ryan Sproul has been dealing, he has given up the most hits out of the Wolfpack with 17. That is going to be chopped past Sproul over to Langdon. Throws it over to Al Morris for out number three. And that will do it here in the home half of the second. The Blue Devils will leave one runner on. And he will be stuck over at first. Going into the third here, we have a little bit of a pitcher's duel in Durham. Still stuck at zero on both sides. Not something we're used to seeing from the Wolfpack is they've got some hot bats usually. We'll see if they can come alive here in the third inning to work. Coming back here into the Wolfpack top of the third. 
here in this one. We are in the top. As Set to start things off is Michael Weaver coming in the nine hole here in this one. Weaver going to lay a drag bunt down as that one will be flew back and the count will move to 0-1. Almost leaves the netting here behind home plate. Weaver is known to show the drag bunt as we saw it last night or yesterday afternoon for the Wolfpack. Coming to us from the left side, swinging away as he'll hold back on that one. As that misses outside, evening it one and one. The Wolfpack will flip the order back to the top after Weaver. One and one. Weaver to hold off and make the count two and one. Trying to be a leadoff man and to bring up Jake Montgomery, followed by Garrett Langdon. Once again here in this one, Jake Montgomery takes over for the leadoff spot as Garrett Langdon moves down to the two spot. Here's a two and one. Fly to left side. Left fielder comes in to make the running catch for out number one. And the Wolfpack will turn it over to the top as center fielder Jake Montgomery will come to the plate. Montgomery comes in tonight batting a 233 with a 558 on base. As that is take a that one straight to the Evo Shield, as you can hear the noise being made. And once again, a Wolfpack batter is hit as that trend has continued throughout all the games this season. And what do you know? That's the most hit by pitches by a single player. That's his 14th. Wow. Montgomery is magnetic to that baseball. Next closest is Garrett Langdon. They're at the top of the order for a reason. It's to find a way on base any way you can make it. Montgomery on first. The pitch to Langdon is drilled down third base in a diving play by the Blue Devils as they're able to make the out at second. A great effort over there by number 28 for the Blue Devils as he steals a base hit away from Langdon. The Wolfpack now have two down for the Cedar Reed Richards with Langdon on first. Now I'll bring two up, two out with one on. First offering to Richards, low and outside, ball one. The Wolfpack have had two men on in scoring position, have not been able to advance one as we are still stuck here at a stalemate at zero. The one and oh, outside ball two. Richards is not somebody you want to let work ahead and wait on his pitch, as he will make you pay. Richards comes in tonight, 15 singles, four doubles, and one triple. And that one down the heart of the plate as Richards just misses on it to make the count two to one. He wants that one back. You can hear the Wolfpack dugout saying, throw him that again. Come set, working from the left side of the rubber. Here's a two and one. Grounded third base side. Nice easy hop. Throw over the first in plenty of time. And the Blue Devils out, able to get out of the top of the third again here as we are still 0-0 zero, zero going into the bottom.
coming back here into the home half of the third. Spoil out to continue his work. First pitch catches the outside corner, 0 and 1. And the man behind the plate, Colin Thomas, up to bat. As he gets that one right back up the middle, Langdon tries to dive, but the Blue Devils will have a single to start off the home half of the third. That'll be the first leadoff runner on for the Blue Devils. He'll be runner and first, nobody out. Sproul working from the stretch. Fires deals, catches the bottom half of the zone, 0-1. Thomas with a big jump there over at first. So he doesn't go, but he challenges the fact that he might. And a swing and a miss to make the count 0-2. As for Sproul, he has one of the highest batting average against on the team with a 293. That's that one is fouled back to make the count 0 and 2 still. As for Sproul, he's given up 17 hits thus far in the season. Make that 18. But here in this one, we have a 0 0 ball game, a pitcher's duel, if you will. Misses inside for a ball. Fires and deals. Swung right over top of for a strikeout. Sproul gets out number one. And that will bring up one out with one on. For the lefty, number 20. First offering catches the outside corner, 0 and 1. Sproul working quick after giving up a leadoff single. Runner on first, decent size lead, not going. That just misses outside, 1 and 1. I would not be shocked to see the Wolfpack try to back pick here at some point as the Blue Devils runner on first has been really taking a big secondary jump. This is one is grounded to Langdon at second. He will flip it over to Weaver. Weaver holds the throw as the Wolfpack record the out at second. Two down here as the Blue Devils have one man on as they try to rally something alive. After giving up that leadoff single, there's been back-to-back -back outs recorded. Still only with a runner on first. The Blue Devils have some action brewing in the bullpen. Is that some shot back up? Langdon with a great play. Wow. Langdon able to get them out of the inning as the Blue Devils strand one. And the veteran shows why he stays in the middle of the infield.
coming back here into the top of the fourth. Just got confirmation here that this is going to be a seven inning game. Nolan Lawrence steps up to the plate, hoping to show some life here for the Wolfpack in the top of the fourth. This one fouled right back at us as the count will move to 0-1. We'll see the four, five, six spot of the order come up here for the Wolfpack. The 0 1 offering to Lawrence. He will hold off, and the count will move even at 1 and 1. A great way there to hold his swing. A lot better count 1 and 1 than it is 0 and 2. As a one and one swung on and missed. One and two the count. And the Blue Devils look to have something brewing over in the bullpen on the left side. Current we'll see if we see a pitching change here soon. The current current pitcher just past the fifty pitch threshold. As that's a line deep left center. And it will be held up at the warning track. If we were on our home field at Kerry Christian, you could have kissed that ball goodbye. Had a great opportunity there, but hit it to the deepest part there in the left center. Great opportunity there by Nolan Lawrence. And now the right fielder tonight, number 17, Alec Creech, will stroll up to the plate. Batting from the left side, he singled in his last at bat on a hard ball down the first base side. That misses upstairs, 1-0. Working quick here with the one out. The one and zero catches the outside corner, evens it up one and one. Creech with five singles, one double thus far. That just misses inside two and one. Working quick, the two and one offering down in the dirt. Three and one count. Creech way ahead here. Has an opportunity to lay off one if needed. The three one offering swung on, drilled down the first base side. Brown able to pick that cleanly, step on first for the easy out. Two down here for the man behind the plate, John Constantino. As he looks to have some two out life here for the Wolfpack. Constantino in his last at bat was drilled by a pitch. Excuse me. That catches the outside corner 0 and 1. Constantino comes in tonight 0 for 1. Bounces down in the dirt, evens it up, one and one. Nobody on here, two outs in the top of the fourth. Once again, here in this one, we are only playing seven. The one one. Line, first base side, gets into the trees, one and two. Blue Devils, one strike away from getting out of the fourth, still scoreless. Constantino looks to change that here. As for the Wolfpack, really both sides. There's not been many runners past second base. And a breaking ball will just miss upstairs to even the count at two and two. The Pack have had one stranded on third. That came two innings ago. Working from the windup, here's the two and two. Outside full count. John Centino able to work it back full. Trying to get a little bit of two out damage from the pack. And that is one thing the pack has been known for thus far in the season. Not giving up here two outs. This one, he will stay alive as the first base side isn't able to get to it. The count will stay full here for Constantino. Enfield playing back. Full count, up and in, ball four. 
And the Wolfpack with two outs will have a man on first for the first baseman, Al Morris. Al Morris comes in tonight batting 222, two hits and nine at bats. As for Morris, he's only played in four games. This is his fifth total game. First offering in this one, lined, popped up, left field side. And he'll make the catch with ease. That will end the top of the fourth. Neither side has yet to score. We have seen a lot of stranded runners early in this ball game. Not something we're used to seeing from the Wolfpack. Still knotted up at zero going into the home half. Coming back here into the home half of fourth. Sproul set to make his fourth inning of work here in this one. As so this game has flew by as we haven't even hit the hour mark as we hit the bottom of the fourth inning. Sproul kicks and deals. And the breaking ball will just miss as the count will move to 1-0. and Working quick, the 1-0. and <gasps> Curveball grounded over the third. Lawrence flipping over to Al Morris at first. And that will be an easy out, number one. Tough pick by Lawrence over at third. Doesn't matter as there's one out here in the home half of the fourth. Now will bring up Michal. Sets 0 for 1 as that catches the bottom half of the zone, 0 and 1. Sproul is working very fast here. Very efficient. No time. He moves, and that one will miss outside as the count will move flat at one and one. Sproul able to catch a lot of corners here in this one. Taking about a half a ball to a ball off the corners as that misses outside two and one. Sproul taking full advantage of throwing just about a ball, ball and a half off. There's a two and one. Just misses outside. Three and one. Sproul looking for a little insurance from his offense as he hasn't gotten any yet so far. He's done his job on the bump with some help from his field. Fouled straight into the Wolfpack bullpen. And some action in the Wolfpack bullpen down there. And we have time at the plate as a ball comes flying down towards home plate. From the Wolfpack bullpen. Taking a little bit of time here to reset things. Roll back behind the mound. Michelle stepping into the box here with a 3-1 count. 
Fires and deals. Grounded third base side gets past Lawrence. Clay Lawrence, that is, into the left field. Nolan Lawrence will pick it up. That'll be a one-out single for Michelle. Double play still here in order to get out of the fourth. As for Sproul, he sits at 48 pitches through three and a third. And that one will miss upstairs. The count will move to 1 0. Decent sized lead over at first. Does not seem like he'll go. As here's the 1 0. Grounded right back up the middle. Going to be a chance for a double play right over top of second from Weaver over to Morris. And that will turn two. The Wolfpack make quick work of the Blue Devils there in the bottom of the fourth inning as I think that inning lasted about five minutes at the tops. I don't think any inning has gone longer than that. <laughs> as we head here into the top of the fifth, it still is tied a at zero. beautiful night here at Jack Holmes Field. Absolutely. Just about as cool, but at least not as windy. Agreed. As we head here into the fifth, still all knotted up at zero. And we'll see number 11 for the Blue Devils come back out to the mound for his fifth inning of work. The Wolfpack this time around in the order looking to get to him. And the top of the fifth is on your way as cool. we will see Clay Lawrence, the third baseman in the hot corner, strolling up to the plate. The first pitch to Lawrence coming from the windup. Swung on and fouled down the first base side and it will be out of play as the count is 0-1. Working here, 0 1, getting ready to fire and deals. Catches the inside corner with the breaking ball, 0 and 2. Trying to work here, get a runner on first, needing a leadoff base runner for the pack. Currently down 0 and 2, as that's outside ball one. Throwback from the catcher, Thomas, goes over the head of. Number 11, set to start things back here. We have a 1-2 count. The 1-2 one one. offering, chop third base side, played foul. Ward stays alive here as the count will stay at 1-2. and two. As for Clay Lawrence, he knew that was foul all the way, never even left the box. Here's a one and two. Bounces down in the dirt. Right about even with home plate. Count evens up, two and two. Here comes the offering and the count will move full. 
as Lawrence has fought back here in that bat. After going down 0-2, currently sits 3-2. And, and the payoff pitch will be fouled off as the count will stay full here for Lawrence. Three two offering is lined into left center. And the Blue Devils aren't able to get to it. And Lawrence might have a chance for extra bases. They're winding him into third. A play at the bag. He is safely in there and with no outs, the Wolfpacker 90 feet away from scoring. Best opportunity of the night thus far. Gives the Wolfpack a runner on third. Nobody out. And Michael Weaver will come to the plate now. We've seen some bunt opportunities from him. We'll see what he does here. Enfield playing in, not expecting a bunt here. But who knows from the pack? Firing and deals. Oh. Flied. Going to be shallow left field. Will there be a play at the plate? He's going. And it'll be held up about 10 feet in front of the bag. Probably a smart decision there by the Wolfpack. You know, that's the first out of the inning. With, with one out, maybe you risk that. But with none down before that play, you play it safe and know that the top of the order is coming around for you. Indeed so. That will bring up Jake Montgomery. And the Blue Devils are playing in. They do not want to give up that one run. That one run right now is the deal breaker as we're all knotted up at zero. Upstairs, ball one. As for the Blue Devils, their starting pitcher currently sits right below 80 as that's lined right center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. And we will Racing see for two. He's going to get in there safely with a run of a double. Montgomery shows off his speed, why he's in that leadoff spot, and you see him in center field all the time. He just turned a ball that could have usually been a single into a double. And Hunt gives the Wolfpack their first lead of the night. Hustled right out of the box. Never thought twice about it. We we'll now see the second baseman, Garrett Langdon, up to bat. With one down and a runner in scoring position, the Wolfpack looking to open this one up. Since with a 1 0 Wolfpack lead, as that's a line in a straight center. And the Running Wolfpack. around third, testing his arm as the throw is off the line. It gets behind the catcher of Thomas as Langdon will stand up at second. And Montgomery just showing some aggressive base running there as he was able to get into second on a close play and make it to home. Without his aggressiveness off his hit, we'd have a runner on third. But instead, it's now 2 to nothing. Wolfpack with a man on second. And that looks like it will be McDonough's final offering. Closing in right at 80 pitches for the Blue Devils. And as for the Peck, they're up 2 nothing. I know that Reed Richards is not the guy I'd want to see up to bat if I was the new Blue Devils pitcher in my first batter faced. It looks like they're going to leave him in. Blue Devils talk it over and think this is their best option. But after getting rattled a little bit, I don't know if Richards is the guy I'd want to see here. As mentioned earlier, Previously, Richards comes in tonight batting a 526, a 592 on base percentage. He's comes a veteran in today, for this team. Comes in today, 20 hits. And only 13 games played. The runner on second. Here's the pitch. Bounces down in the dirt, 1-0. The 1 0 offering. That is swung on by Richards. Chopped to the shortstop. We'll see a play. And the out is recorded as there is now two down here for the Wolfpack with Garrett Langdon sitting 90 feet away. Nolan Lawrence will come up to the plate. Apologies for the camera on that one. But it seems like we have it back. Two on, two outs. 
here for the Wolfpack, or excuse me, one on with two outs. As Garrett Langdon sits over at third, just under 90 feet away. Nolan Lawrence looking to open this one up here with a base hit. Lawrence sits on the evening 0-2 thus far. Just now crossing the 80 pitch threshold. As that catches the outside corner. One and one the count. The offering to Lawrence. Upstairs, two and one the count. Lawrence is also a threat to deal with, betting a 412. Curveball hits the inside corner. Two and two the count. Lawrence having to protect here. Trying to advance a runner on third. Swung on and able to keep the at bat alive. That's chopped straight down. Count remains two and two. Just now passing the one hour mark of game one. The one and only game here in this one. 2-2 offering is down in the dirt as Lawrence will work him full. Trying to fight back here in this one. Trying to keep applying the two-out pressure. Wolfpack currently leads at 2-0. And here is the payoff pitch. Smoke down the third base line. Langdon will score and the Wolfpack will keep the two-out rally rolling as With Lawrence will be up and not dirty on second base with a double. And we look to have a substitution here for Alec Creech. That will bring in Aiden Massey, currently sitting with a 308 batting average. Still not someone to be messing with here in this one. The Wolfpack are a very deep team. They've got all on the bench and on the field. Any of them can come in and get hits. As the first pitch is down in the dirt, 1-0. Oh. Well, ball hit by Lawrence, just inches above the third base bag. Just about could have been called either way, but that was on the inside portion of fair territory. As that's chopped down the first base side, going to be a tough play. Flips over the, f the pitcher covering over at first. And he will get there in plenty of time for out number three. But the Wolfpack... Able to add some insurance here as we go into the bottom of the fifth inning. The Wolfpack lead 3 0. And we are back here in the bottom of the fifth inning as the Wolfpack finally found some life in the bats as it is 3-0 as Sproul will take the mound for his fifth inning to work. Max Brown strolling up to the plate here. Working quick as that catches the outside corner 0-1. Great breaking ball there by Sproul. Had Brown looking very confused. 
Goes right back to it. This time Brown swings. This one's fouled off to make the count 0-2. Sproul works his way back up to the mound. Not trying to waste any pitches here in this one. The 0-2 offering. Just misses inside ball one. I thought that one might have caught the inside half, but... If Constantino was set up inside, he may have got that call, but seemed to be just a, too far inside on that one. As for Sproul, he's at 53 pitches so far. As that's popped straight back, count remains one and two. Sproul back on the mound, looking to get this one over with. The one and two. Chopped right back, Sproul has a tough play right on the line, kicks it. An unintentional kick just in fair territory leads to that being an infield single for Max Brown. And just a tough play there for Sproul. You got the runner coming down the line. You're at a weird angle to throw that ball. Can't blame him for hoping it's going to go foul but just unintentionally kicked the ball there, and the Blue Devils will have a runner on first here with none down. Flyed first base side, gets out of play. Sproul finds himself ahead once again, 0-1. Oh Middle infield and double play depth. As yeah, so for Sproul, he was able to get a little bit of offensive help. Currently with a three-run advantage as that's... Drilled into the left field hole. Gets over to Nolan Lawrence in the left. And the Blue Devils, I think for the first time tonight, have recorded back-to-back -back base hits. As with none down, they have some hope. Runners on first and second here with still nobody out. And for the eight-hole Thomas, he sits one for one on the night, trying to hold him the one and two. Corners playing in for the Wolfpack in the middle infield in double play depth. The first one is down the heart of the plate. Starts him off with an 0-0 fastball. I look for an off speed here just off the plate. As that's a fastball hitting the outside corner, 0-2. Sproul working fast, going back to what he knows. As he gets ahead early here. Looking to take away the life from the Blue Devils. Not trying to give any help here. He's up 0-2. Fastball in the inner half. Chopped foul. Count remains 0-2. And, and why not go to the fastball for a third time? It worked the first two times. It's blown by him. He was late on all three. And Sproul's got him right where he wants him. Still 0-2. Not a pitch to waste. The 0 2 offering. Curveball bounces down in the dirt. Slowly Good working back. There by Sproul. Slowly, slowly working back into it. 1 and 2. And this one's grounded to second as Langdon will record the out at first, and there are two runners in scoring position. as that will be an out number one. Although there will be runners on second and third with one out here in this one. Anfield playing in, trying to keep it with two outs, no runner score. Starting. This is the biggest opportunity the Blue Devils have seen so far in this ball game. Sproul trying to work out of this jam. Still has a three-run advantage thus far as that swung on and missed. Fastball hits the inside corner. Wolfpack bench asking him to do it again. 1-1 one, one count. Pitch from Sproul incoming. That one will miss upstairs. The count will move to 2-1. and one. As for the Blue Devils, their number eight sits 0 for 1 thus far. 
The 2 on offering. Just catches the bottom half of the zone. Count finds itself even, 2-2. Two and two. This would be a big out here for the Wolfpack. Trying to get out of this jam. The 2-2 two and two foul straight back. Count remains even, 2-2. Two and two. The Blue Devils not going out without a fight here. So they have to show they have came to play here. As for Sproul thus far into the season, he's given up six run, five of them being earned. Trying to eliminate that here as that's up and in, full count. As for here in this one, the Blue Devils do have one base open. Still trying to limit it here to two outs with runners on second and third. Here comes the payoff pitch from Sproul. That oh. will miss upstairs. And the Blue Devils will have them loaded here. And we might see Reed Richards come out and talk to Sproul. Indeed so, he will. And to be completely honest, bases loaded versus two men on second and third isn't that big of a difference here for the Wolfpack. You've now got a force at any back, including home. Alongside double play opportunity, yep. which the Wolfpack turned just an inning ago. And we will see Alec Creech come out to the mound. We've seen him in right field here tonight. The Wilmington native left-handed pitcher will start his warm-up with the bases loaded with one down. And we are back on your way as the bases are loaded for the Blue Devils with one down as the southpaw, Alec Creech, is on the bump now for the Wolfpack. The first offering from Creech will miss the bottom of the zone. It'll be 1-0. No place to put him here. Bases loaded. One out. Tough spot here for Creech. Corners playing in. Middle infield playing double play debt. As that's hit to Langdon over at second. Flips it over to Weaver. Over to Morris. Oh. And he is called safe at first. A great double play by the Wolfpack. Will just be missed by inches as the Blue Devils will put their first run on the board. That one was a bang bang play over at first. As the Blue Devils will just re outbeat Aaron Smith's glove at first base. Aaron Smith for So who's up? Who's up first now? And the first pitch is a strike. Aaron Smith is in for Morris. Aaron Smith. Okay, got it. The 0-1 offering. That will miss outside as the count will move to 1-1. One one. Oh 
Two yeah. outs here. Runners on the corners. The one-on-one -on -one offering grounded back over to Langdon. Going to flip it over to Short as Weaver is covering. And our most powerful inning so far with the bats is four runs across in total between the two teams. And the Wolfpack lead 3-1. to one. Heading into the top of the six. Coming back here into the top of the six, the Wolfpack looks to add to their lead after the fifth currently sits 3-1 pack. We'll see the man behind the plate, John Constantino, come up. The first pitch. Inside for a ball, 1-0. Michael Coy on the mound for the Blue Devils. Apologies there, as our roster sheets were wrong. Grounded first base side, gets past the diving second baseman for an infield single to start off the six. And the bats have seemed to come alive here for the Wolfpack. Slowly able to find out how Coy is going to go about him. And now we'll see in his first at bat of the night, number six, Aaron Smith. Who takes over for Al Morris playing first. First pitch misses inside ball one. And as for the pack, it took him about five innings to get used to Michael Coy. As for Aaron Smith, this is his. Now we'll see Michael Weaver come to the plate. That one's going to be down in the dirt, 1-0. Apologies there for the stream that was freezing up. Hopefully it's better now. And around the same spot, but this one's called for a strike. One and one. Infield playing in. Still with nobody out. Down. And another miss down low as the count is two and one. No place to put them here. Bases remain loaded here. Pitcher working from the windup. The two and one downstairs in the dirt. Three and one. And he's really got to put one down the middle here now as he cannot afford to walk a run in. Three one offering. Chop first base side. Weaver had the green light and pulled it just foul. And now we'll see a full count with the bases loaded. Still nobody out here in the six. Once again here, we're only playing seven. Every run matters here in this 3-1 ball game. And the payoff pitch to Weaver. Lined right side. Will it stay fair? No. 
And a good hack there by Weaver. So he's able to golf that one into right field. Just went a little bit too far to the right. See if he can straighten this one out. And put what? some runs on the board for the Wolfpack. Whether the right fielder caught that one or not, that would have at least brought home one if it stayed fair. Regardless here, we have another full count offering. Here's the payoff pitch. Downstairs in the dirt, ball four. And that will bring home the fourth Wolfpack run of the evening. And to go with it, here's where the damage can be done for the Wolfpack as the top of the order is now up with the bases loaded and none down. The pitch to Montgomery is going to be upstairs, 1-0. Bases still remain loaded here in this one. And if you're the Blue Devils, you got to be a little bit worried here. you got none down on the top of a very deadly Golf order. Golf straight up, deep right center gap. Are they going to test it? Yes! Not going to be a play at the plate as that throw comes in just late. That sack fly will bring home the fifth Wolfpack run. And the Wolfpack starting to come alive here in the later innings as there's now one down for the second baseman, Garrett Langdon. Two on for the two hitting second baseman. And here's the first offering. Line Shot. right back up the middle. Waving him around third. Going to be a play at the plate. Throw comes up just up the line. Not going to be in time as the Wolfback continues to add on. Make it 6-1. And after a slow start, the Wolfpack have been pouring it on in these last two innings. As now with one out, we'll see... The veteran catcher DHing tonight, Reed Richards, come to the plate. Richards trying to keep the damage going here. It's six one pack here in the six. And that first one will be a little outside as it gets away from Thomas, but the count will stay to one and zero. Oh. The two runners on Weaver at second, Garrett Langdon on first. Two speedsters on the path. Here's a 1 and 0. Just misses upstairs. 2 and 0. Not the guy you want to be behind in the count to. He knows what he he knows what he wants and he knows when he's going to get it. Here's a 2 0. Downstairs ball 3. Walking Richards would bring up the cleanup batter for the Wolf Pack. Nolan Lawrence with the bases loaded. And that's exactly what we'll see as ball four, take your base, Reed Richards. The bases are loaded as the Blue Devils call time with Nolan Lawrence up to bat next. Coming back here into this one. First offering here is flight straight back. Lawrence finds himself behind behind in the count. 0-1. Bases are still loaded here. One out. Corner infielders playing in. Middle infielders looking to turn that double play. That offering will just miss as the count evens out at 1-1. One one. Right fielder seems to be playing in. Center fielder playing just a hair deep left fielder playing normal depth. Here's a one and one. Catches the top half of the zone, one and two. The one and two offering here with one out, bases loaded. He deals, misses outside, two and two. Here Work. comes the offering. And he does not go. He holds off. Checking the infield umpire. Says he held. Full yep. count. Bases loaded here for Nolan Lawrence. 
and it was close to call from here. Regardless, we have a full count, bases loaded, payoff pitch, line second base, flipped over the second, over to one, double play. And that ball was a loud out for the Wolfpack as it almost hurt him how hard he hit it. Gave the infield more time to make the play on him at first. But not before damage is done again for the Wolfpack as they now lead 6-1. to one. Coming back here into the home half of the six. The Blue Devils have two more chances to score at least five. As Creech's first offering hits the outside corner 0-1. Number 36, Austin Davison up to bat here for the Blue Devils. Uh, we just got confirmation on a few names here. Creech's pitch to Davidson. The Ooh. off speed drilled into left center, but the speedster Montgomery is not able to get to it. It drops down. But he guns it in. He gets under the tag as the Wolfpack had two chances there to get Davison. But they won't as the Blue Devils have some life here with none down in the bottom of the sixth inning. And Garrett Langdon's cleat seemed to came off in the middle of the infield. I seen something loose sitting in infield. Wasn't sure what it was. Knew it wasn't his glove, but it was indeed his cleat. Michal steps up to the plate. He comes in tonight one for two. Pitch from Creech. Misses outside, ball one. Aaron Smith playing in over at first, trying to hold, prepare for the bunt in case it does occur. Here's the one and oh. Line to left field. Has a chance off the left field wall. One runner will score. Gonna be a play at second as that is held up by Weaver, the cutoff man. And that was a bomb there from the Blue Devils. Showing they're not gonna give up yet. As with none down here for the Blue Devils, they've got a runner in scoring position down by four. Blue Devils trying to claw their way back into this. Runner on second as they come back 6-2. Swung on and missed 0-1. Oh Evan steps into the box here. He's 0-2 tonight. The 0-1 oh grounded first base side. Smith 
has a race for the bag. He's there plenty of time. But that will move Michal from second to third here with one out. And a good call off there by Smith as Creech was going over there, communicated with his pitcher, told him he's got it himself. And they're able to record the out as there's one down with a runner 90 feet away from the plate. This will bring up Max Brown, the senior from Portland, Maryland. Misses outside ball one. Trying to hold him here to third to keep this a 6-2 ball game. Offering down in the dirt. Good block there by John Constantino. Count finds itself behind 2-0. and Here's the pitch. Swung on, chopped to second base. Langdon's going to look off the runner going home and record the out. As the Wolfpack now have two down on the Blue Devils, but the Blue Devils are able to scrap back to 6-3. to three. Two outs here in the six. No runners on for as Creech hits the outside corner. 0 1. Zamagani steps into the box. Man on the mound for the Blue Devils. This is outside 2 0. Two offering catches the outside corner, two and one. Looked about to be the same pitch as last time. I thought they both might have been strikes here. Looked to be about a ball, ball and a half off, but it's been called all night for both sides. Almost fooled. Count moves to three and one for Zamgami. That almost fooled him there. Almost looked like he tried to lay one down. Regardless here, we have a three, one count. Pitch incoming. That will miss, and we are wrong about the first pitch. It actually has worked full at three and two. The payoff first pitch is grounded over to Smith. He will record the out, and we will go into our last inning of play with the Wolfpack leading six to three. And, and we are on your way here in the seventh inning of work as Aiden Mossy steps up to the plate. And we've got time as another ball from the Wolfpack bullpen rolls on down into the field. 
Jacob Jones on the retreat to grab that ball as he takes over for the first base coach here in this one. First pitch to Mossy is a strike. As that fastball catches the bottom half of the zone. Gets a sign, deals. Mossy swings on a high and inside pitch that goes off the handle. The count will move to 0 and 2. As for Mossy, he comes in tonight batting a 308. He is 4 for 13 through six games played thus far. The 0 2 pitch swung on and hit hard to second base, but right up into the belt of the Blue Devil second baseman as the first out is recorded. This will bring up John Constant. Tino, the man behind the plate. We're going to try and get something started here. One out in the seventh. As for us here tonight at Jack Combs Field, we're playing seven. So we're in the final frame. First pitch to him called strike 0 and 1. You know he wants that one back. That one was right down the heart of the plate. Not something he was expecting. As here comes the 0-1. Breaking pitch finds the inside corner, 0-2. And, and the Wolfpack seem to have some bullpen action. Maybe looking for somebody to close out the game here. As it looks to be Alex Manuel in the pen. Just misses outside, ball one. In normal situations, I'd be expecting Derek Ostrowski but he pitched all seven yesterday. As for this one here, still a one-two count for John Constantino. The pitch to Constantino. That one will just miss as the count will move flat at two and two. pitch that is swung on hit into center field and will drop in front of the Duke center fielder as Constantino will reach on a single this will bring up Aaron Smith once again taking over at first for Al Morris Try to pick off mover at first. Got back plenty of time as that's popped straight up. This Gonna be, be shallow tough, center. Falls down, cannot make the play, and the runner will advance to second. I can't even lie, I saw that one happening right before our eyes. You could see it in the outfield that they just weren't communicating on where that ball might land. Possibly may have got lost in the light as well. Especially being one of the first games here that the Wolfpack have played at night. And now we'll see number eight, Chadwick Carpenter, come to the plate. Carpenter takes place of Clay Lawrence. Runner takes off for third. Pitch misses outside. No throw. And the catcher will take one from the catcher as Constantino puts both runners on the corners now with one down. Smith not taking second as part of that double steal. Can be first and third. Back pick over the first as that is a called strike. And Smith will get back in standing. Thomas looking to keep him honest behind the plate after letting a runner go on the last one. Back and pick over the first. Not in time. The Blue Devils really seem to want Aaron Smith over there at first. He's challenging him, playing head games. Can't get dirty here at Jack Combs Field as it's all turf. Runner goes. Catches the outside corner. Throw is not in time. Stolen the base for like Smith. Like that call. Once again, it looked like the Wolfpack was able to slide underneath of the tag. And there will be two in scoring position here for Chadwick Carpenter. One and two, the count here to Carpenter. 
Runners on second and third, one out. Enfield playing in. That'll miss upstairs. The count will move even to two and two. There is a spot to put Carpenter over at first. Although there are two strikes here against Chadwick Carpenter. The two and two. Fouled straight back. Count remains even, two and two. Right fielder playing very shallow. Center fielder slightly deep. Left fielder. Left fielder about normal depth as that catches the outside corner. Set him down, strike three. We'll now see number two, Alex Forsgaard, come to the plate here. Forsgaard comes in tonight, batting a 100, having one hit and 10 at bats through five games. Though with a 100 batting average, he has a 308 on base percentage. With four RBIs and three walks, as that misses the outside corner one and now. With two down here for the Wolfpack, two in scoring position as they look to give a little bit more insurance to whoever takes the bump next for the Wolfpack. As that off speed hits, and the count will move to one and one. As for Forest Guard, he has filled in into one fielder's choice. Not an option here, as that's upstairs ball two. Forest Guard. Forest Guard has scored three runs thus far, alongside having three walks. And that is fly to right field side, gets out of play. Count evens itself, two and two. The pack trying to keep adding some damage here in the seventh and final frame. That one misses outside, full count. Good nope. job from Forest Guard to hold off there. As you can see, he almost wanted that one. But now with two down and the bases loaded, we'll see the runner start taking off. And the pitch to Forest Guard is chopped down the third base side. Going to be a play at first in plenty of time. And that will do it for the top of the seventh. We'll see none come across as two were stranded for the Wolfpack. But they hold a 6-3 lead as I think we're going to see Alex Manuel come to close this one out for the Wolfpack. Manuel in 4.2 innings of work has one win recorded, nine runs allowed, four earned, and 11 strikeouts. Updating management file now. Once again, apologies for the camera going out, but we are here for the seventh and final home half of the inning. State leading it six, 
State leading it 6-3. And balls in, coming down as the bottom half of the seventh is on your way as the Blue Devils need three or more here to keep playing baseball. Set to start things off is Thomas. He's a one for two on the night, but this is the first time facing Alex Manuel. The left pack trying to show the Blue Devils why they're ranked third in the nation. Closing this one out, one, two, three. As that goes behind the back of Thomas, not the way he was wanting to start things off here in the seventh. That's a way to get him off the plate a little bit. Show him with the first pitch. Sending a message, <laughs> I'd like to say. Manuel looking to come back from the first pitch, and he will with a ball that misses just a little high, and the count will move to 2-0. and Manuel seems to be overthrowing just a bit here. As Manuel has allowed six walks, and six walks, 11 strikeouts thus far. 3-0 count coming here against... Number six. And here's the pitch. Right down the heart of the plate as the count will move to three and one now. The Blue Devils trying to be as patient as possible here. They're up in the count three and one. Manu fires and deals on a pitch outside ball four. And the Blue Devils dugout showing some life as there's one on with none down here for them in the last inning of work. Runner on first with a leadoff walk. Manuel takes a look over at first. The 0-0 offering. That one will miss outside, 1-0. Just about two balls too far in the left-handed batter's box. Decent size lead over at first. I wouldn't be testing John Constantino this late in the game. Catches the top half of the zone, one and one. Manuel working back here now to even. Looking to close this one out. Get the save here on the night. Constantino working like a brick wall, not allowing anything to get by him as that's up and out ball two. Gives a little stare down the first baseline, warning that runner not to test him as the count moves to two and one here for Manuel. Manuel seems to be getting in his head a little bit, throwing a, showing a little bit of frustration. Here's a two and one. Outside ball three. Not something we like to see. Opportunity for back-to-back -back walks here in the seventh inning. As for the pack yesterday in game two, they were up 5-3 and gave up, excuse me, 5-2 and allowed it to come back 5-4 in the home half of the seventh. He now moves him full. Full count. Here's the payoff, payoff pitch. And that's going to get behind. And runners will move to first and second as no damage is done from the wild pitch. But two men on with none down Reed. as Reed Richards and Constantino and the boys look to go talk to Manuel. Wolfback bullpen starting to show a little bit of action. Not throwing yet, but there are two men down there. Back here, first and second, nobody out. Tying run at the dish. That's pop straight up, gets out of play. 0-1 the count. And for the first time tonight, Manuel is working ahead in the count. That's what you like to see here. Something very much needed.
Constantino announcing top row lineup up for the Blue Devils. Not a place to be. The 0-1 offering from Manuel. Just misses the inside corner, 1-1. One one. I thought he might have caught the inside with that one. Had an opportunity for it, just missed it here. Too far inside. Here comes the 1-1. One one. Curveball down in the dirt, 2-1. and one. And the Blue Devils dugout starting to get a little loud here as they feel themselves coming back to life with no outs and two men on. Righty getting some work in, down in the Wolfpack bullpen. The pitch. Strike as Manuel evens it up at two and two. Able to work it back even here, much needed. Still nobody out here, runners first and second in the bottom half of the seventh. Just crossing the two hour mark of this one. That misses downstairs, ball three. The full count. Mandel does not want to walk, the base is loaded. That would put the winning run at the plate, being the number two hole hitter. Here comes the payoff pitch. That'll miss upstairs as the bases are now loaded for the Blue Devils. As we have time again from the Wolfpack. As Reed Richards is going to go talk to Manuel. And that will be Manuel's night done. That would be a tough place for the newcomer from the pack. Bases loaded, still nobody out. Still trying to wait for a number. That will be Carson King. Comes in with a zero ERA through six innings pitched. He has seven strikeouts to two walks, has one save, only given up two hits. Once again, through six innings played. He has an opponent batting average of a 105, averaging a 60% with the strike percentage. We're going to take a quick break, and on the other side of this one, we'll be back with the action in the home half of the seventh. And we are back on your way as Carson King now on the bump with the bases loaded and no outs here for the Blue Devils in their last chance. And at the dish number 10, he's 0 for 3 thus far. First pitch line down the left field line. It's at least going to score two. Gets over to Nolan Lawrence. And just like that, the Blue Devils have made it a one-run game on the first pitch thrown by Carson King. It's now six to five with two on and no. Connect, 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 connect. We should be back here in this one. Apologies as our software crashed on us. We have a six five ball game as that catches the outside corner. Two and two the count. A big spot here as the winning run is on first base for the Blue Devils. Down in the dirt, away, runners will not advance as Constantino is able to keep him first and second. Big block there by Constantino to keep him in front. As the two and two 
count for Carson King. The pitch. That's shot into right. Tagging over at second. Going to test the arm. And a good throw. Hits the runner, or that would have been a bang-bang play over at third. And now we have one down with the tying run 90 feet away. Double play opportunity is still in order for the Wolfpack. Wolfpack calling their first and third plays. This is a big chance for the Blue Devils to put a runner into scoring position that could be winning the game. The difference between that runner on first and second is huge. That goes from a double play to end it to a scoring, a winning run in scoring position. Man at the dish, Michal. He's two for three, not the man you want at the plate. First offering to him, swung on and missed. A good pitch by King. Those two. Those runs have been scored here in the home half of the seventh. None credited to King as that's shot down to short. Catches it on the fly. And they're going to double him up? No. Indeed so. Michael Weaver cut that on the fly for a double play. And a great ending there for the Wolfpack as he was able to finish that off. Correction, Alex Forsgaard with the catch over in the excuse middle of his field. Forsgaard that was, excuse me. And the Blue Devils... Look to be mad about it, but basic baseball since you freeze on a line drive. Especially here in the home half of the final inning. Ooh. He's very mad about that. But that's from the fans behind us. What a way to end it. I'm a lacrosse player, and I can tell you, you even got a freeze on the line drive. But a great ending to this one as the Wolfpack are able to close it out in good fashion. Six to five. Jeez. Wait, made it a little scary there. <laughs> Once again, final score. Wolfpack six, Blue Devils five. We'll be back in action Wednesday night at High Point, facing against High Point University. Again, final score here in this one. State six, Duke five.